Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that God will guide your steps. But we must make the choice to take them. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you've been, where you're headed, where you are now. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is the choices that we make. We can judge those choices. All right. We can review and we can analyze all we want to. Because it can give us a sense of comfort. But when we let go and let God. And trust. Act on faith. Know that we're moving in the direction that we have chosen. And things take care of themselves. Now we will still get stressed. We will still get nervous. We will still have moments where we scared of the unknown. It's absolutely fine. But we must trust who we are within. We must trust that we are guided by some divine force that we too are part of. And in doing so, it will curtail or remove the element of shame, uh, the element of fear, the element of victimhood that can consume so many in this reality that we see. It's okay to continue to build that inner relationship with ourselves. To trust in that inner relationship within ourselves and know that it's not the world's job to support us or congratulate us. No, God will take care of that for us. The more that we operate from that power within us, we can lead by example. And we don't get to choose who is inspired. We don't get to choose who sees us or who doesn't see us, who hears us or who doesn't hear us, who cares and who doesn't care. It's outside of our control. So the best that we can do is stay connected to who we truly are and express ourselves in that light. And those where eyes will see, those where ears will hear. But there's no need to put that kind of undue pressure on ourselves. I want to remind you that you are the power. You are the light of your life. It's a beautiful thing. It's something to embrace. It's something to feel comfort in. And it's also something that can give us peace in a world that can seem so chaotic almost all the time. Even when the world appears to be in a stagnant place, Still chaos is just the chaos that we get used to. The same is true for each and every person's individual journey. There are the things that we get used to that may not serve us. There are habits or influences that may uh, be introduced into our reality that we may not question at times. But through continuously feeding those habits, influences, ideas, those beliefs, those choices, those decisions, and we continuously feed those without being mindful of what we're consuming, our heart will be hardened. And we will yield the fruits of those choices. So trust in you. Connect with God, universe, what you believe in. Know that you operate from a place so deep within that is so powerful that even the things that you cannot imagine are present. Dream. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your ability to connect with the reality of those dreams. And love yourself for it. We don't get to choose how or when. But be open to it. Don't worry about seeming opposition. Don't worry about resistance. 
It's part of the natural, the, the natural play. It's part of the process. It's part of the journey. Embrace it. I'm not saying that we always going to be happy. No, it's not about happiness. It's about fulfillment, fulfillment of certain dreams, fulfillment of the power within, fulfillment in, well, I could say not even contending, but the, the element of gratitude that is planted in every choice that we make that we know is for our higher good, the individual's higher good. And for others to understand it, they will. And if they don't, it's okay. They're not bad. They're not good. They simply don't understand it. They don't get it. They're not pulled towards that element that gives you a form of self-expression. That is okay. But the power in knowing that, the power in understanding that can encourage you even more to believe in yourself. And I believe that's one of the most beautiful aspects of this journey that we call life is. The ability to understand that we will make choices in our life that make us a lovely, willing participant in our own creation or a bitter element in somebody else's creation. But it all comes to our choices. We do not have to mirror our environment. We do not have to take on the responsibility of changing the environment. The only environment we're responsible for is our inner environment and nourishing the elements of self that make life beautiful in your eyes and in your heart of hearts. That achievement in and of itself forever yields a, a lovely fruit for your life. Where there be a change of perspective, where there be a, a willing openness to newer ways of living, where there be closing off chapters to parts of your life. It's all one and the same. It's all part of our creation. And sometimes in order to gain the things that we haven't had, we have to remove the things that we've always had. And that can, that can be scary at times. It can intimidate some, and that's fine. However, who you become by overcoming that, by seeing past it, by allowing certain truths or revelations to come to you, you can no longer be who you used to be. And not all are going to appreciate that. In my experience, many won't appreciate it because they're comfortable with a version of you that no longer exists because you know better. So just in the nature of knowing something that you didn't know before, you could never return to who you once were. There's an allegory called, what is it? Plato's cave or something of that sort. I'm butchering it. I know, but the message in the story is amazing. It's a reminder that, when you step outside the norm and something new is revealed to you, you'll begin to see that no matter how many words you use to describe this new understanding, those who have not experienced it will not embrace it. More importantly, they may do harm to you. And I don't know the reason for that. All I can say is trust in yourself. Venture out of your cave and see the beauty that awaits. I think that's a good place to stop it for now. Until next time, please trust in yourself, love yourself, give yourself grace. And please don't forget to smile.